What simple life hack should everyone know? Google it first. Get into a routine of stretching your hip flexors and chest if you sit for long periods. Absolute game changer for people who suffer with chronic lower back pain as a result of being hunched over a desk. 5 minutes of daily exercise is infinitely better than 0 minutes and will make a big difference. No matter how good a person you are. At some point you will be the bad guy in someone else's story. You can't please everyone. And you shouldn't try to. Be a good person. And have friendships with people you can respect and look up to. Did it. Holy guacamole Batman. Thank you for the gold and awards. Kind interweb strangers. If you have trouble choosing. Flip a coin. While you're waiting to get the result. Your mind automatically starts to wish for what it wants. Then you can choose easily. Don't take criticism from someone you wouldn't take advice from. Edit. You've taken my advice. Take my criticism. Reddit awards are dumb. You should support a local brewery instead. In a lot of daunting situation. For example asking someone out or standing up for yourself. You only need to be brave for a few seconds to get it over with. If there's a jar or container you can't open. Run the lid under hot water for a 30 second. Dry it so you can get a good grip. Then open. Never had this not work. Some pretty good stuff on here. Just beat it on the counter. The jar. I meant the jar. Most of life is just showing up to things. Most of the time keeping your mouth shut is a great option. If you put something down temporarily. Say out loud I've put the screwdriver by the microwave or whatever. This engages many more areas of the brain, particularly the language centers, which creates a richer memory making it less likely you'll forget where you put it. Brush your teeth more thoroughly before bed after you are done eating and drinking for the day. Morning brushing is important too. But more so for fresh breath. While evening cleaning will prevent bacteria from breeding and damaging your teeth and gums. If you want to wear something white light in color. Wear underwear that matches the color of your skin. Not white. Train yourself to always keep an eye out for things that need to go in the direction you are going. If you are about to go downstairs. Does any item nearby need to go with you? Perhaps a cup can be brought to the sink on your way to the bathroom. Sometimes changing your pillowcase daily can help with acne. I use a clean t-shirt over my pillow to accomplish the same effect. Honey does not go bad. If it has gone solid it has just crystallized and can become liquid again with just a little heat. Turn your bed mattress when you renew your blanket. Through time your mattress will deform and that can make you sleep worse. Edit. Some mattress have a specific side and top that they need to be. Not necessarily a hack per se. But learn some basic knife skills. The amount of time you will save chopping vegetables a few times a week, minimum, for the rest of your life far outweighs the amount of time it takes to learn. If you have a spare minute or are just playing video games or on a computer at home. Take a few minutes to just pet your dog cat and really appreciate them. A phrase I heard somewhere just really stuck with me. Pets are only a part of your life but you are your pet's entire life. To confirm which circuit breaker is associated to an outlet. Plug in an old radio and turn the volume up before you flip the circuit breaker. Whenever you have a time to be somewhere. Aim to be there 15 minutes early. To allow for time snags or for traffic. People respect punctuality. If you bring something to someone's house that you don't want to forget. Put your keys with it. Assuming you can trust the people there. Also. Get a tile or similar Bluetooth device so you never lose your keys or phone again. Read the 3 and 4 star reviews for the most reliable information on Amazon items. Manners and general politeness will get you far and become the norm with but a small amount of practice. I'm not talking over boredom lady but a simple please and thank you with a genuine smile. You will often have to make decisions in life without being able to know all the information related to the choices. 
Being able to identify what you don't know is invaluable. It allows you to make assumptions and contingency plans if those assumptions fail. I want to slap every person that quips. If you assume. You make an ass out of you and me. You cannot function in life without making assumptions. The trick is to identify them as such so that you can be better prepared when they are resolved. Hanging picture frames. Put painter's tape from edge to edge on the top side of the frame. Trace where the hangers are. Peel the tape off. Then stick it to the wall where you want your frame hung. Tap your nails into the premipped spots. Then remove the tape and hang your frame. When moving house. Always set up your bedroom make the bed first so when you're exhausted and just had enough you can fall into bed. Nothing worse than being exhausted and having to make the bed before getting into it. Edit. Good grief. That blew up. Thank you for the awards. Edit 2. To all the grammar Nazis. I apologize profusely for using your instead of your. I don't always proofread as well as I should. But please. Get a grip. It's a typo not x murder. If you ducked up, admit it, unless you are talking to cops. But in most situations just admitting how you were wrong and accepting responsibility is so much easier than trying to blame someone or something else or make up an excuse. When you own the mistake it puts the onus back on the other person to accept that. Be mature and move on. If you try and deny or shift blame it forces that person to examine those reasons and if they are BS. Come back at you. Never talk to cops in case of any serious legal trouble. Always ask for a lawyer. Regularly change the oil in your car. On time. Do it. Will help it last longer. Edit. What in the duck? So that's what happens when your inbox blows up. Thanks for the award too. My first. Tell the people you love that you love them. More often. If you're having trouble getting your baking paper to fit your tray. Scrunch it up first and then unfurl it. It stays in the pan easier and fits like a dream. Turn natural peanut butter. The ones where the oil separates and you have to mix it. Upside down for a few hours. It will bring the oil to the top and make it a lot easier to mix. N. After you mix it. Put it in the fridge and the cold will solidify the oil so you don't have to mix it again. Edit. To a few points. Natural peanut butter doesn't solidify to a point that it's hard to spread when cold so that's not something you have to worry about when storing it in the fridge. To the person who said just buy emulsified. I mean sure but Adam's peanut butter is best peanut butter. The easiest way to remove blood stains is to use bar soap and hand wash it. Works better than using laundry detergent. Nursing trick. Hydrogen peroxide. If you want someone to get more mad you tell them to calm down. When you're cooking and the recipe calls for onions and garlic. Don't put the garlic into the pan until the onion is nearly translucent. Garlic cooks way faster than onions do. If you throw them in at the same time it won't taste as good the garlic will burn. It literally takes 30 seconds for minced garlic to cook. Also. If you're a home cook. Sharpen your knives often. Thought of a few more tips. Love chives and parsley in your eggs omelettes anything else. But hate the hassle of cutting them using the herbs before it turns. Get dried chives and dried parsley instead. It rehydrates quickly and sources eggs and tastes the same. It's also way cheaper. This tip can apply to a lot of herbs. While fresher is always better. Dried is often still delicious while still being in a student Y budget. Add a bit of vinegar to your beans if you're making anything beany. A lot of home cooks think that vinegar is gross, and it is by itself, but a dash of vinegar can really make beans. Sauces and marinades pop. If you're planning on spending a decent amount of time drinking at a busy bar, always make sure you give the bartender a really good tip on your first order and ask them how they're doing before you order. If you need help ask for help. It's a strength not a weakness. Whenever somebody you know mentions something that they like need or favorites things keep a note of it on your phone. Eventually you'll have a list for all your friends and family that you can dip into whenever you need to get them a gift. Always poop on company time. This way. 
At the end of the year. You will have earned like 2 workdays pay by pooping. Hence you will be a professional pooper and also less money spent on toilet paper at home. Don't buy things you can't afford. If you want to open a glass jar, like jam, pickles, and the lid won't move. Place a spoon with the tip under the edge of the lid and pull the spoon upwards. The lid will bulge and you can open the jar. In a pinch. The seatbelt in your car can be used as a bottle opener. If you're in a public restroom having to poop and are using an automatic flushing toilet. Put a bit of toilet paper over the motion sensor at the back. This will prevent it from flushing before you're ready which might scare and or splash you. Also. A tiny bit of paper on the water itself will prevent the splash when you drop your poop. Just remember to take the paper off when you are done to initiate the flush. Mostly applies to the USA. Don't take life advice from internet strangers. Go on. That X% percent of Y is the same as Y% percent of X. 8% of 25 is the same as 25% of 8 makes calculating sales at stores much easier. If you accidentally have caps lock on. Instead of deleting it and starting over. You can highlight the caps and hit shift and f3 to switch it back to lowercase. Edit thanks for the awards. Because so many people are asking where this works. I know for sure it works in office. Outlook and our internal system at work but it's not universal. Sadly. I couldn't say where it does and doesn't work. Learn how to cook 2 or 3 meals. Use as little out of the box items as possible. I make chicken alfredo. Spaghetti and meatballs and tuna or chicken casserole. This means the excuse for eating out all the time is not as prevalent and is something you can do to show off a little bit. Putting your Oreos in the fridge makes them taste far better than room temperature Oreos. Mask. Glasses? No worries. Use dish soap and wash your glasses with it. Here's the catch. Don't use water just wipe off the soap with a soft towel and fog is no more. If you throw a house party where you. As the host. Plan on getting quite drunk. Start the clean up while drunk. Trust me. Waking up to a clean house when you're hungover is fantastic. Drunk you will barely remember and sober you have so much less to worry about in the morning. Eat Cheetos with chopsticks. One time I got trashy high and drenched a bag of flamin' hot Cheetos in chocolate syrup and ate it with chopsticks. Not my finest moment. But alas. Not my worst. Edit. If you use a bidet. You'll never have to worry about running out of TP during a global pandemic. Oh boy I ducked that up. I'm sorry. I'll try and fix it is a lot easier to say with some practice than excuses or shifting blame. After you say that. It's on the other person to act as maturely as you just did. No one actually knows what they are doing. Alright the government doesn't want you to know this. But the ducks in the park are free. Don't discuss politics at work. But what if it's your job? Senator we really need your input here. No. Life is not a rehearsal. Life is just one long improv. Stop wasting money on chip bag clips. My kids always break them. So I buy clothes pins instead. You can get a pack of 50 at Walmart for about a dollar. Seriously? Pay your bills when they arrive. Not when they are due. Banks. Credit card companies. Mortgage lenders. Utility services. Etc. Absolutely love. Live. Love it when people wait until the last minute to pay their bills. When I signed up with my bank. I read the agreement and got the personal banker to concede that yes. They made a lot of money off late fees. They're not alone. The thing is. Paying your bills when they arrive doesn't cost you anything extra. If you can get into the habit. You'll always be ahead of the curve. And if something comes up which necessitates you holding off on a bill. You've got a couple weeks to figure it out. It also relieves a considerable amount of stress. It's a bit like homework. Don't put it off until the last minute. Get the assignment done when the teacher gives it to you. 
don't cough if you have diarrhea. I heard it's game over. You don't actually need to keep contact with your family. If a relationship with them causes any anguish. You're allowed to cut them out. Their failures aren't yours. Become attractive and the world is your oyster. While traveling. I met a guy who literally looked straight out of Baywatch. Tall. Blonde. Stubble. Handsome. Muscular Dutch guy. He was going on about it's really not that hard to get girls. I was like bro. Do you have any self awareness? When you have cold cereal. Put the bowl and a glass of milk in the freezer for about 10 minutes beforehand. It will be the best cereal you've ever had. The milk stays cold. And it keeps the cereal from becoming soggy so quickly. You can also just perpetually keep an empty bowl in the freezer. Which works for cereal or ice cream. Edited. When you're in a group of people and they start laughing. See who looks at each other. People look at the people they feel closest to when laughing. Edit. I realize this isn't foolproof. But typically people look at their closest friend or a partner. No is a perfectly valid answer. The cool kids. Will remain just that. Kids. The ones who work their ass off in school and college become the actual adults. With beautiful families. Houses and wealth. Some gas stations have screens that play ads while you're filling up. If you press a button on the right of the screen. I forget if it's the second from the top or bottom. There's a good chance the ad will be muted. It doesn't always work but it's nice when it does. Save useful posts on reddit. If you want to save time. Don't have kids. Listen to music when you feel like jerking off. Throw a dry bath towel in with the garments you need dried quickly. The towel will absorb some of the moisture. Making your items dry faster. Remember to take out the towel after around 5 minutes. If you are drying just a few items. Or 15 minutes for a full load. Wash jizz off with cold water. A warm or hot water. If you touch your belly button and your nose at the same time you will take a screenshot. Buy a pack of bagels. Slice them all into halves, the way you usually do before you chuck them in the toaster. Put them back into the pack plastic bag whatever and into the freezer. Result equals pre-sliced bagel you are going to toast anyway plus no chance of mold and waste. Chocolate dissolves gum. If you get gum in your hair, use chocolate like soap. The chocolate, unlike the gum, will shampoo out. If you have zero food, and you don't know how you're going to eat or feed your kids, start calling around to local churches. In the U.S., there's a good chance at least one will run a food drive and can help you out. You can also contact the Salvation Army for food assistance or bill assistance. They can even help you if you can't afford your insurance copay for something serious like a house fire. Don't worry. Do you have a problem? If no, there's nothing to worry about. If yes, can you do something about it? If yes, there's nothing to worry about. If no, can you figure a way to do something about it? If yes, don't worry. If no, it's out of your hand. So don't worry you can't do anything about it anyways. Not a life hack as such. But for anyone starting a new job college school, Stay away from the person who wants to be your friend on the first day or show you around. 9 times out of 10 they are a duckhead who will most likely try to drag you into some bullshit or get you to do work for them. Never in the history of calm down has anyone ever calmed down by being told to calm down. When setting up a smart TV with Netflix, Hulu etc. You can usually plug in a USB keyboard and enter the password faster avoiding using the remote. This is a good one. Typing with the remote is as pleasant as staring into the sun with binoculars. Cough when you feel you are about to have a heart attack. What the heck does about to have a heart attack feel like? Bro. Sometimes when I choke on drinking water I cough so hard it feels like my heart is going to burst. Why? 
Tin foil saran wrap have tabs on the side that you push in. Which keeps the roll in place. Deodorant. Looking at UMTG and belay players. During an argument. When you feel like the other person isn't really getting your point. They might be hard of hearing. Try increasing your volume gradually until you drown out any other sounds. My parents taught me that one. If you need pull a Karen and talk to the manager about poor service or something similar. You will get so much more by being nice about it than being mean. I just had this happen at a hotel we stayed in. Politely explained the problems of the room and asked for a discount. She gave me half off the room which was about $70. The mask goes over your nose too. Literal life saving hack. My two pro tips. 1. Never tell everything you know. 2. Have an item that broke and don't have a receipt to return it. Go buy another one and, and use the receipt to get a refund on the broken item. You can poke a straw through the middle of strawberries. And it efficiently gets the green part out. Useful for making a salad or cooking. Sleep early so you can wake up on time for work or school. It's that fking simple. If you get caught up in a riptide. Swim diagonally or parallel to the shore. If you swim perpendicular to the shore. The riptide will pull you further away from it and you will waste your stamina. I'm pretty sure this has been addressed already but knowing this can save your life. Sometimes doing nothing and letting things run their course is the best thing to do. In addition to being the easiest. Don't be a CNT. Sometimes. You agree with people. Go to the dollar store. Buy a 4 or 5 I love you cards. Give them randomly now and then to your partner so for no reason whatsoever. Dissolve 4 aspirin tablets. Uncoated. Or soak then SCR pay off the coating, in a bit less than a quart of water. Add white vinegar, around an ounce or two, up to the top. Shake well. Massage a spoonful of this into your scalp once or twice a day, morning after shower and before bed. Itchy and flaky scalp, gone. Especially in winter, works best if hair is washed daily. As that keeps scalp moisturized. When pulling out all the ingredients to make a sandwich. Make a second sandwich. Boom. Extra sandwich. Meditating for 10 minutes in the morning before you start your day will improve your mood. Lower your stress levels. And help you live with a little more clarity. Been meditating for nearly 12 years now. And every day feels better than the last. If you write for a website and you don't have any idea about what to write make a thread in our ask reddit you might need a few bots to give it initial visibility. If you don't want to take the trash out. Just break your leg. Never let someone open a life insurance policy in your name. They will kill your ass. If you're a parent and want your child to eat something they do not like. Just say it's an aeroplane and fly it around randomly. They will eat it. Wear a ducking face mask. As soon as you wake up. Drink 2 pints of water. About 1 liter. It will wake you up like caffeine and get you pooping in about 30-45 minutes. Like clockwork. Then when you try to catch the train you gotta pee. You can write 2 FS together and cross them both with the same line. It's super stupid but you'll look classy as duck. That's so specific I would probably spend more energy looking for an opportunity to use this than I save by doing two lines in the F's instead of one.